the WG250 comes with two angle setting tools. The first one will help you to establish the existing edge angle of your tools. And to use it, well, you simply just place the tool into the gauge like that. And then that'll tell you that we've got an existing angle there of 25 degrees. To grind and hone to an existing angle, you can use a simple trick of blackening the existing angle with a marker pin. Then fix the tool in the appropriate jig and set the angle so that a consistent amount of marker is removed from the bevel. Okay, so this is an angle setting jig. This is gonna help you set new angles. There's two settings. The first one relates to the diameter of the wheel. You're not gonna to need to change this very often. And in line with the fact that I'm using a new 10 inch diameter grinding wheel, I'm gonna set this setting right here to the 10 inch indicator. The second gauge determines the angle of the tool that we want to produce. So I'm gonna set an angle on this plane blade. I want it to be 25 degrees, but in line with that hollow grind, we need to allow an additional two degrees. So I'm gonna set this to 27 degrees. You can see now that I've placed the plane blade in the straight edge jig. I'm gonna slide it onto the support arm and we'll place the heel of the angle setting jig on the stone. And now can you see how the flat component rests against the plane blade? I can use the micro setting adjustment to raise the support arm to give me a precise angle. Now this will help to ensure that I maintain a consistent angle for the entire grind. See how the angle setter can be used for chisels, for both flat and curved gouges, also for scrapers and a deep bowl gouge.